Mr. Dyson, uh, <coughs> let's go next, DC. Let's talk about Mr. Dyson Daniels, man. He seems to be uh, the one the Pelicans are paying attention to as we got look that, at got the that workout this weekend, Q. That's right. Uh, that's right. Taking them in for a workout, man. Pre draft workout this weekend. And yes. uh, you see Daniels, uh, six, uh, what is that, six, seven and a half? Yeah. So, I mean, in average, what was his average here they're looking at here? Let me see if I can pull the information here. He's a, he averages 11.3 points there a game go. with there a whopping 25% three-point shoot. But <laughs> he does shoot 73% from free throw line. So, it's encouraging for that. And all the noise we heard about the pro day, how he just was shooting lights out from three and couldn't miss. So, a lot of people believe that maybe he's rectified his three-point shooting issues. And then he also gave you 4.4 assists a game. <clears throat> um, comparisons for him, a lot of people confirm to Lonzo, but as you can see in the tape here, as me and Big Q was talking about, he's not really explosive, he's a little stiff. But what I will say when I can compare him to Lonzo, he's a very intelligent player from tapes I, tape I watch. He looks to get his teammates involved. He's a little bit of that hybrid role people talk about now as of a, of a connector. He's not really a lead guard, but he does have the capabilities to kind of be a lead guard. But he's kind of a guy that uh, makes the right play, um, hits his teammates open, makes some amazing passes. Not really a flashy passer, but he can make every possible pass out there. You know what I mean? So he going he gonna to make sure that his teammates get the ball when they run in their stride. And the thing I like about him, uh, he's a constant worker. He's probably one of the best defensive players in the draft. But you are talking about a guard, you know, defensively. So I think a lot of people don't really, you know, worry about that too much when it comes to guards. When you think guards, you just think about them getting buckets. You get buckets and get dimes. But I think it's a nice asset to have um, to be able to, look, what if we had a guy like that and we played Phoenix? You know, that could have been the turning factor to getting past the Phoenix Suns. But, um, he attacks the rim, man. He has a beautiful floater, you know, so uh, he's got real good touch with that. So I think his shooting stroke, he definitely can can get that if it, if it isn't already fixed. Um, they, they're talking about how great he looks in these workouts. So he's going to work out for the Pelicans individually, depending on how that looks. You know, nobody snatches him up. I, I don't think it would be crazy for us to get this guy. I truly believe on draft night, we probably would have drafted Halliburton instead of uh, instead of Kyra. Maybe it's better that it happened the way it did, though. But um, he reminds me of a guy like Halliburton a little bit. You know, he's definitely got some of that in his game, man. And this dude is another Australian cat. Uh, Josh Giddy is another guy you, you think of when you think about him. Um, <clears throat> he uh he does a little bit of everything, man. He can rebound too, you know. Uh, he started showing that, and the only really knock on the man is right there. What you see, and you see him going in. It's that three ball. If he can hit that three ball, man, I mean, you got yourself a player. Honestly, if this guy can shoot threes like that, and that's not just a glitch, because you know it is those workouts. A lot of people look like super pros in them damn workouts. But if he can really hit the, that three ball like that in the game, man, you're looking at he's a guy that probably would have never them. fell to eight. He's sticking uh, them consistently, DC, to be honest with you. He's nailing them one yeah. after another. But you're right. Sometimes you get the workout holy ghost. Hey, but that's that's the shots he's going to get with the pals, though. They're going right. to be wide, but just like that. That's right. That's, that's true. Dyson <laughs> Daniels, man. There you go, fam. I like, I like Dyson Daniels, though, man. If we, we got Dyson Daniels, I would, be, I would be okay with that pick. I would be actually happier with him than Matherin, ironically. Um, I feel like the potential of what he could be and how he could excel um, within the game, if a guy like CJ takes a step back or we decide to move him to a six-man role, <clears throat> I think a guy like Dyson Daniels could step into that offensive uh, starting start lineup right with Herb Jones, and it would create havoc. And we really don't need him to score unless he has to because they're not respecting him. It, you know, it, it'd be perfect. And you have a guy like CJ coming off six-man row. Obviously, I'm talking about three years from now or something, y'all. But, you know, um, I think he fits us, his skill set. My only thing about him I don't know about 
Um, don't really find a lot of stuff about his like his his personality. I can't really gauge if he's a if he a dog like that or if, if he he's pelican material. Right. It does. Does he have a mindset like us? I mean, looking at his game and his skill set, he seems to. He seems to be, you know, the ideal player for us. It's just that three point percentage. If this guy can hit three point shots, he's the perfect player for the Pels. So it's just all about like what's his chemistry, what's uh what's his mentality like far as uh personality wise. Does it fit mesh with our guys? Um, to me, like I said, guy like Johnny Davis, I I just feel looking at him, hearing some of his interviews and stuff, I just think he would fit in perfectly in the locker room. Not saying Dyson Daniels wouldn't, I just don't know a lot about this little bit of question mark. Yeah, we, it bears some uh, more research on it. He's an Australian man. It's kind of hard for you know to get a gauge on those guys, man. He's not from here. Just like Matherin, I I could say a similar Canada. thing. Yeah, Canadian. Yeah. All right. Well, perfect. <laughs>